afternoon, beautiful humans. It is Thought Field Thursday. And honestly, I did not feel like doing Thought Field Thursday today, but you know what I've come to realize that when you are working on you, and we all should be working on ourselves all the time, you have to embrace adversity and just keep it moving. You know, it's not easy to do that, yet it is very, very necessary to embrace adversity and just keep it moving, guys. Um, two people that I love passed this week. And you know, I said to myself, Lord, I'm sitting in my office and I'm like struggling to stay focused. And it came to me, you know, this is an intricate part of life, an intricate part of life. You're going to have somebody pass, somebody gonna leave here. And you've gotta accept it as it is be grateful for the life that they led, rejoice, and keep flowing. Gotta keep flowing. Um, so I've been doing that. I've been doing that. I've been keeping with the flow, although my heart has been truly heavy. I've been keeping with the flow and um, doing what I must do, must do. I have an assignment and I have to, I have to stay the course. Um, so today, I wanted to talk to us about partnering with your past, making friends with your past. People often approach me about things that happen in their former life, their behaviors, things that they've done, things that they're not proud of, things that they're trying to get over, cope with. Um, some people are being reminded of their failures by individuals that are an intricate part of their life that have a voice in their life. And, and some people just are struggling because they have to keep rehearsing, whether it's in their mind or it's somebody else, reminding them of what was. Let me tell y'all something. I will be 100% transparent. That is who I am. I don't have no secrets, honey. Secrets are what cause us to be sick. Secrets are what makes us sick. It really does. You know, some things I would never share on this type of platform, yet in other platforms where it's necessary and needed, things like that. So you got to know when to share certain things. That's imperative. But honey, I ain't got no secrets, honey. None whatsoever, honey. Victoria is not my name, honey. I ain't got no secrets. And I'm going to tell you, when I came to that place in my life, you talk about liberty and freedom like none else. I got so free, I almost couldn't stand myself. You know, because people will try to bind you to something you did back in whenever you did it honey it is what the heck it is i feel like cussing but i'm gonna play nice in the sandbox of life you know i tell y'all all the time play nice in the sandbox of life make peace with your past partner with your past and say hey look you know we ain't together no more but how we gonna how we gonna work this out so we can be good with this it's almost like when you get a divorce Mature people, hear me, mature people when they divorce, they don't allow that decision to cause them to be dysfunctional and can't progress and can't move forward, can't see the kids, can't do this, I can't do that, I can't stand my ex. What do you mean you can't stand your ex when you used to be in love with the same freaking human? Make peace with your past, please. Ponder it, deal with it, grow from it, and make peace with your past because otherwise it is going to be always prevalent and present with you. The past should not be present with you. It is used as a testimony. We overcome by the blood of the Lamb and word of our testimony. You know the testimony that you share? It's from the past. Did y'all realize that? 
A testimony is something from the past that you're already over, dealt with, overcome, you made it through, dot, 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 dot. But it's not a testimony if you're still in it, honey. That ain't no testimony. That's false advertising, honey. That's false advertising. Don't talk about it till you're over it, honey, till you're healed and you're whole and you're delivered. Let this stuff go, honey. The past is done. It is over with. It's nothing we can do to rectify something we did yesterday. I can't do nothing about something I did five minutes ago. It's gone. It's over with. It's concluded. It's the end. I can't do nothing with it. So you got to make peace with that thing. I didn't make peace with all my boyfriends. <laughs> I'm so serious, man. I have made peace with every person that I can recall to memory that I brought harm to. I literally have made peace with all that. And if I hurt somebody and you watching this video, DM me, honey. Hit me up on the DM. Let's get this crap resolved, baby, because I don't have time. To, I don't have time. I don't want to make no energy for it, but I will listen to your complaint and your issue that you got with Coach Coffee. And, and, and I, I, I'll, you know, I'll do my best. Absolute best. But you know it is what it is. Whatever I did, I apologize, okay? I can't fix it. And if I was wrong, I mean, I, I, I take the, I take the responsibility. I was wrong. I did something wrong to you. I'm sorry. I've learned to do that. Just say I'm sorry. Be sincere about it. I'm sincere about my. I apologize. You know, I apologize. I'm really not sorry. I ain't never been sorry, but I apologize if I've done something. When I did something, let me not say if either, because you know, if suggests you didn't do it. So when I did whatever I did to you, I apologize. Genuinely. Lord, this is funny to me. But you got to make peace with your past. I'm being so very serious. You have to make peace so much so that when a person shows up and tries to testify against you, honey, you just sit there and say, I am so guilty. Um, I did it. And keep it moving. You know how much peace you will have when you just roll like that and don't let people affect you with they infections don't let people affect you with their infection now if you try to take this honey because i didn't record it honey it's it's mine it's my quote don't let people affect you with their infections honey dysfunctional thoughts and ideas and mad at you because you done moved on i said done y'all i said done because you done moved on you didn't find you a new boo your new boo is in love with your dirty drawers honey love everything about you but your old boo want to testify against you what for I ain't with you no more. Get your together. Your aspirin. I almost said it. I almost cussed. I'm telling y'all. You know, but anyway, this is Thought Bill Thursday. On a serious note, honey, make peace with your past and partner with it. Y'all can do some great things if you take that testimony, honey, and use it to the glory of God our Father. Through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, I'm telling you, if you use that thing, because we overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. You talk about powerful. You got some power in you, honey. Use it. Use it for God to get the glory out your life, honey. I then took my time and said to myself, honey, I done had these conversations with myself about stuff I know I done did. No, I done did it. And I laid that thing at the feet of the Lord, honey. And I said, Lord, I need you to heal me from my own pain that I put on my darn self from hurt, harm and self-harm, honey. Let alone the stuff I did to other humans. But the self-harm, I said, Lord, forgive me, please. I repent. I choose a different path. I take a different journey. I'm grateful for the body that I'm housed in, the mind that you gave me, all of the blessings that you bestowed upon me, my three angels. I got three amazing youngsters. Well, old people now. Lord, these people old. My children are old now, y'all. Three old folks that call me mama. A host of nieces and nephews, siblings, family, friends. I even be blessing my enemies. And I do my best to bless my enemies. I know they don't like my chocolate tail, but God knows. I can't hold on to that either. That ain't my business. Mm, my Lord today. So anyway, it's your girl, Coach P. Coffee Brown here in the great state of Texas, honey. And AD gave me permission today to be emotional. So I'm displaying some emotions. <laughs> I love y'all so much, man. I really love y'all. This is Thought Field Thursday. Make peace with your past, honey, so you can walk in your purpose. And remember, I am the bridge to help you to identify your beautiful destiny.